Right, here we are for a midnight walk and talk. <laughs> I've just done a bit, but I've deleted it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was truthful. <laughs> but, um, yeah. All right, you two, pack it up now. Basically, woman upstairs come out when I'm taking the dogs out now. Um, dogs are going towards the car, a bit excited. Bit of barking, not a lot, because Lucy's not even here, right? Lucy's not here because Lucy's the one who barks the most. So as consideration for Betty. I like Betty, she's only one of my neighbours that I actually like. Can't, can't stand the rest. In any way, shape or form, can't stand them at all. But I like Betty, Betty's all right. Betty's a nice, nice woman. Yeah, I'm sorry for her that her husband passed. Yeah, he was a nice man. Yeah, so, out of consideration for her, I keep Lucy indoors at night because Lucy's the one who barks the most. So, yeah, anyway, lady upstairs, Shannon, giving it loads. Oh, you've been reported twice. Okay. I just said, look, shut up. Because she's the one who's made all the fake claims about me punching a dog in the face. She's a liar. She's a hypocrite. She's a hypocrite. She's a liar. I couldn't care less what she has to say. Not in any way, shape or form. And I say, you know those people? That if they were in a pit on fire, you wouldn't even pee on them? There you go. That's how much, you know, I really... You know, couldn't care less. When you speak, it's just buzz, boom, 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 boom. It's all it is. You've got nothing intelligent to say. So shut up. You've got nothing worth hearing. All you've got is moan, 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 moan. That's all it is. Put it this way, dogs bark, yeah. Ever since they've been there, even before they've been there. I did videos talking about the fact that dogs have been going out at this time of night for about four blinking years. So they've been there, what, two years now? Ever since they've been there, dogs have been going out at this time of night, every blinking night. You know, so, look, it hasn't just started, right? So why are you just starting to moan about it? But put it this way, I have to put up with the banging from them, don't I? From him, certainly. Whenever he closes his bin, it's not just close the bin, it's bang! Every time. Every time. Makes the dogs bark. So don't give me crap about dogs barking when the noises you make make my dogs bark. Right? Maybe you want to stop making the noises you make before you start talking to me about the noises my dogs make. Because you make my dogs bark. What the noises you make. Right? So, basically, shut up. But I would understand it. If I changed the way I was doing things and I just started taking the dogs out for a walk at this time of night just to be a pain in the ass for them, I would understand it. It's complete BS, again, with these people. Any excuse to try and nag, 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 nag. Yeah, I haven't done anything different. Taking the dogs out. I've got videos done from over a year ago. Taking the dogs out at this time of night. They're no more barking now than they were. <laughs> Not at all. No more barking than they were. You know, so it's like, come on. Stop acting as if suddenly the dogs have started barking at night. Yeah? Yeah, you don't use your brain, but I certainly do use mine. Right, this is one thing I, I did a video earlier, and some of the sound didn't come out, so I'm going to redo that now. Um, well, that's assuming the sound's working now. I'm not sure it is. One second, wait there. There's someone ahead. I don't know where that person's going. I don't think they've got a dog, but rather than shouting great it to come back or when the others to come back, if we just hold back a second, then maybe that person can get far enough ahead. If they're going across the bridge ahead, then let them go first. Right, but I've done videos before, even about these people upstairs and about um, these people that cancel culture. Crap. The people that go against Matthew 7. Um, I was talking to God about that the other day because 
you know, neighbour upstairs, he does his usual crap. If my car isn't parked in the spot that I normally park in, he will intentionally park his van there just to be a pain in the ass. Right? So again, another point, idiots upstairs, don't ask me to do you any favours in any way, shape or form if you're continuing to try and be a pain in the bloody ass. Right? You absolute morons, who the bloody hell do you think you are? You think you should get favours based on what? Well, it's like, you know, uh, you know what I mean? The absolute stupidity of it. Idiot. Idiots united. That's what I've got around me, basically. You've got the people on the left, the people on the right, the people upstairs. Idiots united. They could start a little football team. At least a five aside. Just call themselves Idiots United. All this crap about dogs barking. Yeah. Five years at least. I mean, coming out of this time of night. For five years. Suddenly it's a problem, is it? Last summer, I was coming out of this time of night. Right? You have a, you have a summer, we had a litter of pups and the pups are making noise. I was trying to tell the pups to shut up and the neighbour next door had a go at me for a shout at the pups of getting them to, trying to tell them to shut up. Right, so now I don't even bother. I just let the pups make as much bloody noise as they want to make. Why? Because I tried to be helpful, tried to basically tell the pups off from making tons of noise. And then, you know, he's like, stop shouting at the pups. Well, okay, I'll just let them make noise then. I just let them cry all night, you tell me. Yeah. You got your window open, you can hear that if you want. Kylie. Hello my Kylie. How you doing, Babs? No, I mean I'm not gonna even make an effort now. Yeah, I haven't brought Lucy out because Lucy's the one who makes mo the most noise. I'm not even gonna bother not doing that. I'm just gonna bring Lucy out now. Yeah, I I've tried to be considerate to the people. I've tried to do that. But I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm sorry, whatever I do, they're gonna moan, they're gonna try and find some reason to be bitchy. Because that's who they are. Yeah, they're bitchy, so they're just going to be bitchy. So there's no point trying to try and you know, bend over for them. Yeah, you bend over so much, you're going to hurt your back. It's like, no, I'm not going to do it. Sorry. You've earned no favours at all. None at all. Yeah. Well, the other day, just the other day, right? He parks his van in a certain position. And that position was available because I had gone out. At the time he got back, he parked his van exactly where I park to reverse into the driveway to get my dogs in. Just to be a little bitch. He does that all the time. All these people, it's like you, you had it today, whereas there was an ex-cricketer who played in the 2013-2014 in um, Ashes. Um, brown skin cricketer. He was basically saying that these people that have made, made tweets years ago when they were 16, 17, 18, um, some being racist, that their careers should be completely and utterly over. Yeah, gone. The thing they trained for, the thing they've actually excelled at, where they've got a career, where it can actually you know, support their family, etc., 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 should be over because of what they've done. However, these people are exactly the people saying this who would be the first to ask to expect forgiveness for anything they do wrong. They would demand forgiveness, but they won't offer it, will they? Which is why these people deserve to spend eternity in hell. Because they would demand forgiveness, but they won't bloody offer it. They demand that other people suffer for what they've said. Why? Because that offended you? even though you've said things that have offended other people. Because you've said things that have offended other people, should you suffer the same? Should you? Baba girl. Come, baba girl, come, baba girl. Reality is, folks, is that, yeah, these people who are so much demanding that other people do this and do that and do the other, they're hypocrites. They should be treated like hypocrites. Just ignore anything they say. Anything. 
they're basically just some nuts. That's all they are. Sorry about this thing, it keeps on, the angle is getting a bit dodgy. I'm coming on this bit to see if the, the, gra the glass that was here has been picked up yet. Now, I think it has. I can't see any shimmery light, so I think it's been swept up at some point over the last couple of days. Yeah. So saying that, actually, oh, what's that ahead? That glass there? Could be. Oh, something shimmery. Yeah, it's still there. Okay. Let's get off that bit. Ah, Kobe. Kobe, Kobe, come here. Kobe. Kobe, come here. Gracie, here. Gracie. Gracie, come. See that glass is still there. And say so this council around here, they want they, they want people to pay rates. That's been there since Friday. It's now what? Tuesday night? Yeah. They're supposed to clean this area. They're supposed to maintain this area here, clean the bins and these paths. You've got a bin here that hasn't been here for, what? That bin's been missing for over a year. They haven't bothered to replace it. But they want you to pay your rates. Bah. Again, you do your bit, we won't do ours, basically. Yeah, okay. Come on, Gracie, this way. Come on, Baba girl. Bouncy, bouncy, yep, yep. Well, basically, I mean, yeah, conversation I started with God a couple of days ago, um, speaking about the neighbour parking in this spot, and God said, yes, give me an extra five grand on their account each. For each of them, 5,000 on each account. Every time he does that, because it is malicious. And I said to God, well, first of all, If he keeps on doing that, which he will, it's going to get beyond the point where he can pay yeah, any monetary amount. So, therefore, that is nonsensical, having it be in a monetary amount if he cannot possibly pay it. Because, yeah, you might as well have it at 200 billion pounds, therefore. Yeah, because if you're going to have a monetary amount, if, if someone can, can only afford Two thousand pounds, and the monetary amount gets up to twenty thousand pounds. Well, of course, it might as well be twenty billion pounds. Yeah, if they can only afford two thousand, then anything over two thousand they can't afford. You might as well times that by a billion. And God says, "Well, yeah, once it gets to a point where there's no point adding monetary costs, they will come out in." Yeah, other areas. Yeah, they will lose other things. Yeah. Look at Bouncy. Hello, Bounce. Should call you Bouncy, shouldn't we? Hey? <laughs> Little Gracie Bounce Bounce. You alright, Bubs? How are we doing? Good girl, Grace. You're a sensitive little soul, aren't you, Gracie, eh? So, I mean, look, with regards to the council culture, there are people whose job it is basically to find information to get people cancelled. What a job. What a job, eh? Well, for a person like that, yeah, they will have to pay. But they keep on doing it, they keep on doing it, then the amount they have to pay is going to keep going up and 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 up. I mean, yeah, according to the sins of these people, yeah, their sins are so great. The people that are trying to get people cancelled, that is. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah, if there was a monetary value, proper monetary value attested to their sins, there was there'd be no way, shape or form they could ever pay that. We keep losing Amber. Amber! Where's she now, Dozy Cow? Where's Amber? Amber, come. Don't worry, Bubs. Where's Amber? She's around somewhere. She's definitely out with us. There she is. Amber, behave. Stop trying to eat rubbish. Stop trying to eat rubbish, Amber. Be a good girl. 
I went to the gym tonight, that was interesting. I knew it would be because of last night. Last night was tough. I knew tonight would be a case of, you know, I have to go a tiny bit lighter. Well, actually, in many ways, in a few of the things I did, I actually went heavier tonight. Sod it! <laughs> really go for it, go on. Yeah, that's the point. Your body thinks you're going to go lighter, so you go heavier. Do the complete opposite, you know. A bit of back, pull towards. I did do a bit of shoulder press, uh, shoulder raise, I did that as well, to the side. That was hard. The reason why that was hard was because of the fact that uh, I was supposed to be doing 7, 10, 12 and a half, but someone had a 10, so I went from 7 straight to 12 and a half. 12 and a half was heavy. Gracie, what are you doing, bubs? What have you got? Uh, leave that, Grace. Leave it. Dirty. Ah, oh, you having a good night? Uh, I've just finished walk, so I'm down here. <laughs> good, good. Come on, this way. Come on. Here we go. Oh, no, I mean, you know, with regards to this council culture, one thing is a certainty. There's a lot of people who are absolutely delighted by the chance of you know, causing crap for somebody. They're absolutely delighted, especially if they see someone rise, you know, like a cricketer, something like that. You're rising to new heights. Wait, leave it. Come this way. Covey, will you stop putting crap in your mouth? Come on, now, move. God, coves. Certainly you don't need any food when we get home, sweetheart. If you're eating all this rubbish you find on the floor, you'd better be massive if you fall. No, as I say, these people, you know, you see someone rise to great heights and you find something a bit dodgy on them, you know you've got power. You know you can damage this person. Oh, it's a wet dream to some people, isn't it? And some people actually get off sexually on stuff like that. They really, really do. Oh, the power. Oh, excuse me? You sad, sick individual. You know, come on. People are going to stop doing this stuff. It's not good. Money, come in. Why is your con not working? Maybe I need to charge it. Okay. Not sure if I even turned it on at the start. I've turned it on now, so let's see if it stays on. Good point. Uh, yeah, that's okay. I'm checking that uh, I, I put the, the never-ending... Um, well, the collar I can't turn off onto Rocky this time because she's the one who's always going ahead and going off somewhere. So it made sense. Now I can't see Kobe. <laughs> she's over there. I can see her just about. Yeah. But Kobe doesn't tend to go quite as far as Rocky. So it's useful. Hello, babes. How are you doing? Good girl. Oh, certainly Grace is doing very, very well. She is doing fantastic. Yeah. You staying close, Grace? Good girl. Good girl, Gracie. Love you, bub. You're doing well, aren't you, Grace? Hey? You're doing good, bubba. Good girl, Gracie, Grace. <sighs> now, as I say, this conviction of sin, if it does come, it's going to hit these people the hardest by a long way. Guarantee these people are going to be going to these people that they have tried to destroy or tried to hurt and begging for forgiveness. And they won't get anything. And I hope they don't get anything. They don't deserve anything at all. They deserve absolutely nothing. They deserve to be told, you sod off. You were happy enough to not offer any forgiveness to me. Why on earth should I offer any to you? That's the thing, isn't it? Right, come here. This way. Come on. Over here. There's an animal of some sort over there. I don't know what it was. That a cat, maybe? Mm. Got all mine. This one. Come, on, babes. Kobe. Wait. Stop eating rubbish. No, 
No, as I say, it's conviction of sin. It's going to tell these people that what they've been doing is sin. And what, they, what they've been doing is out of order. Yeah, bang out of order. Because it is. Yeah, and they're going to come to a realisation of what they've done and trying to destroy other people that they've actually condemned themselves to an eternity in hell. Yeah? And they're going to be begging. Absolutely begging for forgiveness. Oh. It's a tough situation. It really is. Because, look, generally speaking, a lot of people have fallen into this. They really have. A lot of people that do this have fallen into it. They've, they've not really gone into it. They, they're, they're doing it as part of something. But that's the thing. You're responsible for the decisions you make. You're responsible for the things that you do. And, yeah, if you do this, you're responsible for that. I'm sorry, but you, you don't deserve any forgiveness. You weren't offering any. You were quite happy to destroy this individual. You should be quite happy to be destroyed. Because based upon your own understanding, anyone who does wrong, and does wrong against somebody else, should be destroyed. Like anyone who says something that's offensive should be destroyed. Well, what you've done is offensive. You just didn't see it as offensive. No more the per than the person who actually wrote the tweet or wrote the message or said what they said at the time you know, saw it as offensive or that offensive. Because when they said it, it wasn't. Well, they didn't mean it as that. You know? Again, there is a difference between how you take an offence and how it was meant. Yeah? That's the reality. What you got, Bamba? Ah, oh, Bamba got. Why don't Bamba? Where'd you go, Bamba? Where'd you go to Babs? You want to play play, Amber? Good girl, Amber. And we've got play play. Good girl, Babs. Why don't Amber? <laughs> Hi, Grace. How are you doing, Baba Girl? Nubs. Nubs, nubs, nubs. Well, I mean, look, put it this way. I would say for absolute certainty that I wouldn't say that my neighbours are in that bunch where they've just fallen into it. They've absolutely chosen to go into it. Yeah. Did they know it was wrong? I don't think they cared. Really, I don't think they cared. I think if they realised it was wrong, would they have changed it? No, not at all. No, they were still done it because it made them feel good. That's what it mattered, it made them feel good. Yeah. So in the end, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, as I've said before, it's a case that sometimes you have to let people, you know, make their own noose. Yeah, you know, give themselves enough rope to hang themselves. And then just let them swing. It's their choice. Yeah, you know, they want to hang you, but they end up hanging themselves by the same rope. That's justice. Poetic justice, sort of thing. In the end, that's it. And oh, wouldn't it be so beautiful if all these people, whose job was to you know, find evidence, if they all found evidence against each other? <laughs> that would just be fantastic, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be just beautiful? It would It'd be absolutely beautiful. It'd be a nice, beautiful ending to this council culture. If all the people responsible for, for finding the evidence to council people found evidence on each other and presented that evidence to the public so that they themselves got cancelled. Ha oh, ha! That would just be fantastic, wouldn't it? Hey, that'd be glorious. Ha ha ha! 
But uh, is that going to happen? No, because they, they probably know each other. They probably already know the evidence, evidence against each other, and they wouldn't pass it on because they're not famous. See, they get nothing for it, for passing it on, do they? Because they're not famous, they don't get anything for passing that information on. Right, come this way, Mickey. Come, X, this way. This way, come on. This way. That's the thing, they only want famous people. Because when they then have famous people and they then yeah, give that evidence about famous people, oh yeah, then they've got real power because they've now basically collapsed the career of someone who was actually going somewhere. Yeah. Look at people like Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey had movie deals. And when they went after him, not, they had to reshoot certain parts of movies because he was in them. And so they had to take him out of them. So they had to reshoot those parts, didn't they? What are you doing, Gracie Grace? Loves. <laughs> Loves. Loves you. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Yes, good girl. Good girl, Gracie Grace. Yeah. Imagine what power that gives you if you're the one responsible for that. You know, the, the movie producer has to come in and work a lot harder. They have to get a new actor to come in and take over his parts because you presented that information that destroyed his career. Yeah, well, for example, uh, the newspaper that went after Johnny Depp. Yeah, they themselves will be held accountable by God. For that. Amber, come now. Come here. I don't know what's over there, so we're not only to see you. I don't want your head down. Although you haven't got babies to feed right now, I still don't want you to eat something that could be poisonous. Well, right? Behave. That smiley, Riley. I can now see where Lockie down is, you see. <laughs> and there she is. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> you know, she's having a good walkies. Definitely. Where's the Chewy? Chewy! Chewy! There he is. Where you been, Chew? Where you been, my boy? See, his collar is much better tonight. I charged it. You could barely see it last night, and yet tonight you can see it really, really bright. Yeah, so tonight was pull. Uh, so natural pull down. Um, middle. So it's Riley's. And so has someone else's. Oh, um, Grace's as well. Then I'm going to go again. Stop it. Stop fighting. You two enough. Over here, come on. People are coming. We go this way. Amber, come baby. Bring it here, Amber. Bring it with you. Good girl. Well, Gracie keeps turning her one on. Uh, Riley keeps on turning his one on. Molly's one needs charging, so tomorrow night Molly's one will be working much, much better. Um, Mickey's one probably needs charging again. That one tends to sort of die fairly quickly. Oh, skateboarders, oh God. Not with Amber. Amber, come here. Come here, Amber. Come here. Come here. Right, come here. Come here. Come on, this way. Come, Bubs. There you got money, Connie. What you got, Bubba? I don't know what you got there. Come on this way. Gracie, come. Come on this way. Ah, oh dear. Yeah, anyway, so Jim. Oh, that's a good point. I wonder if Jim went off it. Yeah, Jim, I did. Um, yeah, that was heavy. Yeah, as I say, I, I, was gonna, I was supposed to do lighter. I decided, no, nope, go heavier instead. The body expects lighter, so go heavier. That was good. That was fine. Put it this way, even going to the gym at night, I'm not actually taking the dogs out much later. 
I normally would do. It's only about 10 minutes later. It doesn't make much of a difference at all. As I say, these people complaining now about the dogs making noise. I've been taking the dogs out for years at this time of night. Nothing new. They've been making noise because they get excited about going out. So they've been making the same noise for all that time. Now they're moaning about it. So it's like, sorry, don't care. Yeah, if I just started doing it now and you were starting to moan about it when it first started, then I'd understand it. Then I'd say, okay, right, okay. Problem, yeah, how do we deal with that? But the fact it's been going on for all these years already and you've only just started moaning. Nah, don't care. Kobe, walk away. Kobe, walk away. Come on, this way. Gracie, come. Come on, this way. No, as I say, it's, yeah. There's not an awful lot I can do about it, really, because I'm going to take, take the dogs out anyway. Yeah. Not a lot I can do. No. Not really. I mean, basically, put it this way. Uh, a lot of nights this week, certainly, um, certainly a couple of nights, last couple of nights, people upstairs have been out talking to the neighbours. <coughs> Oi, Amber, Amber, come here. Now, stop it. Good girl. You're a good girl. Well, they did good, actually. They stopped while they were coming towards the dogs. Because um, they probably had the experience before where they've skated near dogs and the dogs have got a bit sort of barky barky towards them you know yeah so they did good then for themselves and for the dogs so thank you to you too on them i appreciate that yeah um yeah so i say they've been out talking to them so when they've been doing that i've not really been able to take the dogs out then anyway have i so the only time i can do it is when the neighbor's boyfriend goes right this sort of time of night. This is when I can do it. Because you're not out with him, therefore Floyd's not out, right? There's no issue with Floyd being out because, yeah, Floyd would attack my dogs and the neighbours upstairs, what do they do about it? If Floyd attacked Kobe, Lockie down, Gracie, what on earth would the people upstairs do? Would they report Floyd for that? No. Not at all. No, they would probably say congratulations to the next door neighbours who would just sit there watching it. So, sorry. No, as I say, you're hypocrites. Yeah, when Freud attacked Mickey and Mickey defended himself, you called the dog warden on Mickey. So Mickey started it and he didn't. Yeah, you're a liar. You're hypocrites. There's a reason why I take the dogs out at this time of night. And the reality is... It's been that way for many, many years now. Yeah, they get fed after this, so they have their good run before that. I mean, the other option is I could play with them indoors. If I play with them indoors, they'd be barking more. Right? Now, we could do that tomorrow night if you want. I could play with them indoors for a couple of nights. See how you like those apples. I guarantee if I'm playing um, cats with them indoors, they're going to be barking. Because they do. They get excited doing that as well, but now they're right below you. And it goes on for, what, well, for them to be as knackered as they are after a walk here, you know, 20 minutes of playing indoors, they're going to be quite barky, right? Now, Kobe's going to be having a go at Riley, so she's going to be barking. Yeah, Molly's going to be barking. Yeah, Lucy would get excited. She'll start barking. No idea what, what uh, Gracie would do. No idea at all. But the reality is, that's the other option. Do that. Right? On those nights when it's peeing down with rain, and I play with the dogs indoors, and you hear the noise, do you think that'd be better at this time of night? We need to do that instead. We've been taking them out when you might get maybe, what, 10 seconds of barking? You're up anyway, aren't you? Does it make that much of a difference? No. No. 
So what do I have to do? I have to have my window closed because, yeah, when the boyfriend or the bloke upstairs, when he goes out and lets the dogs out in the morning before work, you know, slams this door. If he's using one of the bins, putting stuff in the bin, slams the bin down, lid of the bin. Yeah, there's never been any consideration with regards to noise from you, is there? Really? Yeah? And this parking in the spot that I park in, is that you showing consideration? That you want me to show consideration? Come on. The answer is, well, I shouldn't really be swearing as a Christian, should I? So, I can't give you the answer. Great. Really, with Gracie, she just wanted to do it. She just wanted to go over and sort of gruffle. Gruffle at people, didn't you, Grace? You're a gruffler. You just want to gruffle, do you, Grace? Okay, swear not. Hey, Chew. How are you doing, mate? You doing good? Good boy, Chew. So I say, you know, you've got people that you know don't show any consideration, but want consideration shown. Simple answer is shut up. Isn't it really? Shut up. Yeah, you're a moron. Yeah. Well, that's what I say. Yeah, the, the, these people where you've got people where if they were in a ditch on fire, you wouldn't impale them. Right, but they've earned that, haven't they? That's something which they've earned. They've earned that position of where if they were on fire, you wouldn't even pee on them. That wasn't something that, that was just there. That's something that they've earned by their behaviour. And then, of course, they're surprised that you would react in that way. But you didn't have to earn it, did you? You know, you want favours? Be a half decent human being. Yeah, stop being bitchy. If you don't want someone to be bitchy, then would you? Certainly, if you want favours from somebody, stop being bitchy. Yeah. Instead, you want someone to bend over backwards for you, but you know, you're just gonna be a pain in the ass yourself. Okay. Gracie, behave. Behave, Grace. Look at Gracie, now she wants to say hello. <laughs> One sec. Right, dogs are in car. Well, just as we're coming here, we met a lady who we have to meet with her sister. She's going to, well, she's a wonderful woman, actually, lady. Both of them are. Both lovely people. She's going to meet her sister from work. I suppose, you know, she wants to do it because then her sister doesn't have to walk home alone, which is fantastic. The only problem is she has to walk home, she has to walk here alone to get her sister, so <laughs> same thing. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, 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 yeah. That's the hat the dog used to. They found it and they chewed it to pieces. Yep, okay. An Adidas hat, yeah. It was a hat. It's not a hat, it was a hat. It's called a was a hat now. Anyway, so, yeah, look, in the end, there's a lot of this cancel culture crap around. It is not good in any way, shape or form. Uh, the people involved in it, anyone involved in trying to make someone else pay, anyone involved in that crap, anyone involved in malicious BS, is going to have to pay for it. That's the reality. They're going to have to pay for it. And I say, you, you've got neighbours who moan, you've got neighbours who complain. Best thing to do is just turn to shut up. Just ignore them. Because that's all it is, just buzz, 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 buzz. Irritating, little buzzy, buzzy waspies and that sort of stuff. That's all they are. Nothing, really. Just an irritant. Yeah. No. I mean, put it this way, if they wanted to have a good relationship with the neighbours and they wanted you know, favours, they wanted the neighbours to be considerate towards them, they would actually behave themselves with a bit of decency towards their neighbours. The fact they don't do that, 
Yeah. Then they can't ask for favours, can they, really? Simple as that. Can't. Yeah. And realistically speaking, yeah, if you want to talk about dogs barking, then maybe you know, stop slamming doors, stop slamming bins, bin lids shut. You know, stop doing the things that make my dog bark. That's it. And as I say, if it was a case where I just started taking my dogs out at this time of night, and so, you know, the first few times it's happening and suddenly from out of nowhere the dogs have started barking at night i will understand it but that isn't the case you know so what you're doing is just moaning about it's a newer thing for you to moan about isn't it really and yeah you've made complaints but i'm going out generally speaking before 12 and so noise pollution getting dogs in car no no but as I say, look, if you really want, I play with the dogs indoors, I guarantee you they're going to make a lot more noise indoors than they do going towards the car. Because going towards the car, yeah, matter of, what, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, maybe, maximum, noise is over within the car. I'm up there. But basically, put it this way, before these people moved in, yeah, I, I, I ne never used to lock my door. So I never used to, well, I never used to have a dog on a lead. And still, they made a complaint that Mickey was aggressive, which he isn't. Because their dog was being aggressive towards my dogs, that Mickey showed teeth towards their dog. Because they've never bothered to train their dog. Yeah. That's it, really. When it comes down to it, that's it. I mean, basically, the message is for tonight. Yeah, the conversation I've regard was, you know, when these people, when they do things beyond, you know, the the measure that they could pay financially, then they have to pay in other ways. Or more to the point, it's going to cost them in other ways. That's what God said. What exactly that means? Well, what does other ways mean? Yeah. Put it this way. You're not going to get away with it. No. And I think every, every, put it this way, every single person deserves a chance to, to go to heaven. Everyone deserves a chance to go to heaven. Everyone deserves a chance. Now, anyone who's gone against Matthew 7, 1 to 2 is going to have to pay for their sins. That's the reality. They're going to have to make a payment. That's the reality. That's, that's the situation as it is. They're going to have to make a payment because yeah, they have broken that, so therefore they are going to be judged according to the judgment they use and the measure that they use. So therefore, they're knackered, basically, right? So they either go to hell or they have to pay for those sins. Now, it would be perfectly fair, really, for them just to go to hell. It would. But, you know, God willing, God will give people the opportunity to pay. But that would be a financial payment, but that financial payment is going to be blinking painful. And once you go beyond that point where you could manage that financial payment, well now it's going to cost you in other ways. That was the point. That was the point that came out the other day when I had a conversation with God. Is that, yeah, you know, people are going to do things beyond their financial means, so therefore it's going to cost them in other ways. So, yeah. That's the thing. I mean, no, it's a shame. It really is a shame that people do this, but they do it. And if people are determined to do these sort of things, well then, you know. Yeah, 
however much of a shame that is, mm, it is what it is. You know. People make decisions. You know, people make bad decisions. And as I said the other day, I did a video the other day. Um, that's a point. Actually, did I actually? I'm not sure if I uploaded the video. One second. I just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna quickly go over some of the things I said in that video because I'm not sure if I actually uploaded the video. Um, in the video I did the other day, which I may have deleted. I'm not totally sure. <laughs> well, because once this phone gets completely full, if I did a video a few days ago which I, I forgot to upload, I just say right, that's gone. Delete it. Yeah, I don't know what I said on these videos. Yeah, not after a couple of days because I've done a few other videos since and so what's on my mind is what I did really in the last video not what I did two or three videos ago. Um, but in that one I mentioned the point that sometimes it is a case um, with people that we do we make terrible decisions but that terrible decision is a decision that is going to make our lives not break our lives. Yeah, we needed to make that bad decision. It's going to be the thing that's going to shape us into who we need to be. Um, and, you know, one other point that was made in that video is that quite often the devil will be the one to get you to make that decision, will try and push you to make that decision, telling you, it's okay, don't worry. It's a gamble, but it'd be worth it. Yeah, it'll pay off in your favour. But then as soon as it completely falls to crap, he's the first one to tell you your life is over. That's it. You might as well just kill yourself. Your life is gone now. Well, what God will say to that is, no, 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 no. Your life really has just begun. To some people this is, not to everyone, but to some people this is the case. That that mistake they made is a mistake that's going to shape their life. That's the thing that God is going to use to turn their life around and to shape their life into a completely different direction. That's weird. That ambulance has got the lights on. They don't seem to be going very fast. <laughs> They don't. I'm not surprised about any you know, you know, residential wish area. Yeah, they don't really want to be making too much noise. So they don't have to if there's no cars in the road. Um, but speeds seem to be a bit under, you know, for our lights. I mean, they weren't traveling really fast than what I would be. You see cars go up here and down here all the time. They seem to be going at normal speed, which is, well, why have you got your lights on then if you're going normal speed? <sighs> Weird, isn't it? <laughs> but there you go. So, I mean, the point of it is, with these people that make these decisions to, you know, be malicious or cancel culture, that sort of stuff, or to, you know, basically to harm people. Because the people involved in the cancel culture, you know, they're trying to destroy people based upon what people have done. But they justify it as well they did something or said something that was offensive so because i took offense then i'm completely justified in what i'm doing so, yeah but you said things that are far worse than that you have at some point we all have at some point we've all said things and done things that are bad all of us you know? If you're someone who would expect to be forgiven, then, or would demand to be forgiven, then you should be offering the same. Simple as that. But, yeah, a lot of these people that are trying to hurt others because of what someone else has said in the past. They're hypocrites. Yeah. That's the reality. Anyhow, 
skin neither. You know, to some of these people making these decisions that are going down this path, yeah, they are making the decision that is going to shape their life into maybe who they need to be. That maybe they have to lose everything to gain everything. And so, you know, your cost, how much this is going to pay you, is going to be everything. That's the reality. But that's the point. You've decided that because someone said something that was offensive towards you. Hey, one second, let's move away from that. Okay. They can have that. They can have the music, I don't want it. Yeah, you basically decided that, yeah, they've said something that was offensive and because of that, they have to pay. And you're going to make them pay. Yeah. How much they have to pay? Well, maybe everything. Maybe. Well, put it this way, the lady upstairs, from me, she lied saying that I punched one of my dogs in the face. She told the neighbours to try and get the neighbour's boyfriend to attack me, right? At least to make threats against me, to threaten to attack me. Now, if that had got into a fight, then either he could have seriously hurt me or even killed me, I could have seriously hurt him or killed him. So I could have gone to prison, he could have gone to prison, one of us could have gone to the morgue over her lies. Right? She was saying that to cause trouble. The price of which could be everything. Therefore, the cost to her, just for that alone, should be everything. Right? Do you understand it? I mean, it's... Yeah. Right, one second. I think we've got the two ladies coming. In which case, I'll let Dolly do that again. Because it is them. I think it probably is them. I'll wait. We'll wait here for a sec. I can soon let Dolly do that again. It's not too. Not yet, mate, is it really? It's like coming round, just nice to say hello. But look, folks, in the end, the reality is, is that, you know, if you don't care if the price someone else pays is everything, then the price you have to pay is everything. Absolutely everything. It should cost you everything. That's the reality. It should cost you everything. If it does, then hopefully that's going to be the thing that's going to turn your life around. Oh, basically, no, I don't care. With regards to the people that have been a pain in the butt to me, yeah, the buzz, 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 buzzes, yeah, if they get the knife right with God and they turn the knives around, I don't care. Couldn't care less. I couldn't care less if they, you know, continue the way they do and, you know, end up paying a horrendous price. I, I couldn't care less if they turn the knives around and get right with God and get it all sorted. I couldn't care less. Either way, no. Couldn't care at all. Nothing to do with me. That's between them and God. Nothing to do with me at all. I couldn't care less. Yeah, they want to be important in my life. But they're not. That's the point. They're not important in my life. So there you go. Right, you take care. God bless. I will speak to you soon. I'll let the dogs out again. All right, bye-bye.